uh, in terms of uh, the countries, in terms of its strength. Uh, this is because we are not really, our uh, passport is not very strong. We can't go to many countries without visas. One of the things that I want to do, if I'm confirmed and sworn in, is to ensure that we get bilateral agreements with many countries signed so that we can have reciprocal, so that Kenyans do not need a visa to go to some countries. Most of the time, these countries put uh, what in Swahili we call vikwazos because they believe that Kenyans will be going there misbehaving and not coming back. But uh, with a plan of uh, President Ruto to grow the economy from the bottom up, Kenyans will not have a reason to fly to flee their country. There will be opportunities for people to go, trade, and come back home. The other thing is also to look at some of the agreements that are sitting in Parliament that we're going to bring. For example, there is an MOU between the United States and the Kenyan government to quicken how Kenyans get visas to the United States. But it has sat in Parliament for a while. I'm going to uh, fast track it so that it is approved and it is so we can sign some of those agreements and many treaties that will strengthen our, our passport. I also would like to, uh, if confirmed, is to introduce what is called a service passport for senior public uh, government officials so that there is a diplomatic passport, there is a regular passport and also a service passport. This is done by many countries so that our senior uh, government officials have a service, dip, uh, service passport that enables them to get visas in a faster way to be able to go and, and uh, carry out their duties, which may not per se be diplomatic, but they're able to carry out their duties. It will put less pressure on the diplomatic passport, and also it will ensure that our passport gets a better ranking at the end so that the Mamambogas and others can also be able to go to many countries without having to uh, go for a visa. The Mweshmiwa, through you, Mr. Chairman, they would ask about uh, scholarships, uh, very, very important. And uh, this is because of lack of follow-up. I've noticed that there are very, very many treaties, agreements, follow-up of meetings that have really not uh, taken root. One of the things that uh, I plan to do, if I'm confirmed and uh, sworn in, is to ensure that there is a person sitting in the ministry of uh, foreign affairs with direct linkages to every other ministry because we want to go trade, but we're also looking at these specific scholarships to other places. We want to be able to announce these scholarships to the public. I have a good friend of mine, if I can use him as an example, called Professor Frederick Iraki. Grew up very poor, was teaching somewhere in Western Kenya. He saw an advert in the newspapers, I think it was Taifa Leo, and he was able to apply to the foreign ministry uh, for, for a scholarship on merit without knowing anybody, he got a scholarship, he's now a full professor, went overseas, studied, full professor. How could you am to? So we want to create a system whereby children of the poor, when we say the child of the poor will be able to sit at the same table with the child of the rich, so that you don't have to know anybody for you to be able to get these scholarships. And we'll publish them. And also I'll be on my Tours overseas, I'd like to be accompanied by members of parliament because I have seen when I was working in government, whenever there's uh, a team that comes from the United States, from England and other countries, they bring their members of parliament, they bring their members of Congress to accompany the minister. I'd like to get that habit because you understand and you can be able to lobby for me and lobby for the country of Kenya, uh, more scholarships and more opportunities for Kenyans. It is not just a job of executive. This is a shared, I want to have uh, work together with uh, parliament because it is about Kenya. Kenya is not just about the foreign office. It's about all of us as leaders being able to support uh, our people here in Kenya. Um, in terms of balance of trade, yes. A problem because majority of our products don't have value addition. So we are selling our products raw. So we find that uh, we're importing finished products. We actually sent our products overseas and they are imported to Kenya with value addition. Uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa government is all about value addition. We like to add value to our products so that more money can remain in the pockets of our Nainchi and this will ensure that our balance of trade is balanced. In terms of Mira, we look at how do we package our Mira, but it's not about package, it's how do you market our Mira overseas and how do you get smooth transition because that is a product so that uh, the people of Tigani, as you put it, can and also have more money in the pocket. So this is a critical uh, part of the plan of Kenya Kwanzaa. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.